This is locating centroids, example one. In this question, we'll locate the X centroid, which would be about here maybe, and the Y centroid here. The shape is not symmetrical, so we have to calculate both the X and the Y centroid. Step one, we break in the shape into simple segments and calculate the X and Y centroids of each shape as well as the area. So I've just split the shape into two rectangles. So the area for this top rectangle would just be 5 times 15, which is going to be 75 meters squared. Our Y bar will be this distance here. So this will just be 6 plus half of 5, which is going to be 8.5 meters. And our X bar will be this distance to the center of that rectangle, which is going to be 7.5 meters. So we'll do the same for the second rectangle here. Our area is going to be 3 times 6, which would be 18 meters squared. Our X bar, which will be this distance here, is going to be 4 plus half of 3, which will be 5.5 meters. And our Y bar will be this distance, and that is going to be half of 6, which is 3 meters. So now that we have all these values, we can move on to the next slide to calculate our overall Y and X centroids. So to calculate the overall Y centroid, we'll be using this formula, which is the sum of the Y centroids multiplied by the area of each shape, divided by the sum of the areas. So this will equal... 8.5 times 75 plus 3 times 18 all over 75 plus 18. This turns out to 7.44 meters. So that is this distance here. Now we do exactly the same for the x. So it would be sum of the x bar times the area all over the sum of the area and that will be 7.5 times 75 plus 5.5 times 18 all over 75 plus 18 and that will equal out to be 7.11 meters and that will be this distance here. So now we've located the centroid for the shape. 